Hey, uh, Dave here with Saddleback Leather, and now that we're making these uh, reusable washable cloth face masks, everyone's asking me, hey, how does this work? How does that work? So here's what I'm doing. I, I'm going to answer this question. Uh, how long is it good for before I need to reuse or start redoing it, okay? Uh, before I need to wash it, before, how long is it effective? And that all depends on you and your situation. So there are eight things that, it, that it impact how long it's good for. If it gets pressure, if you have a, a reusable, or if you have a disposable and it's kind of a, a paperish sort of thing, um, and it gets crushed, those papers get crushed, the pores get crushed, and then it's not as effective anymore. So if you're wadding it up, that sort of thing, if you're closing the pores. So think about it this way. You can kind of see through a little bit of light through here, through this is tightly woven cotton. By the way, only get tight, tightly woven cotton, two layers of tightly woven cotton. If you're not getting that, if you're getting polyester and you're getting um, other poly, cotton poly blends or cotton nylon, whatever thing you're getting that looks good, it's not protective. The CDC says to only use cotton. But what it does is the cotton catches things. It's breathable, it catches things, that's what you want. So uh, if it's not breathable, then it's gonna blow out the sides. If the pores get clogged, you start blowing out your coughs, your virus that you don't even know you have out into the air or you're sucking in someone else's virus through the sides. So, so how fast do these pores get clogged is the question, and that's when it's no longer any good. So if you're talking, Tina, remember this, that talking too much can be hazardous to your health because the humidity ends up swelling up the fibers and clogging the pores if you talk too much before it evaporates. Um, if you are in a humid area, if you're heavy breathing, um, then you're going to be, uh, the fibers will be swelling up and then more air will be going out and in, and this is no longer filtering. Of course, the pressure, if you're in a dusty environment, if you're working, uh, doing sheetrock or construction or uh, mowing yards or whatever, if there's dust, it's clogging the pores too. So it's, you need to change it more often. Um, if you live in New Mexico, uh, it does that. If you are uh, put in it on and you're cleaning your nose all night, you got a runny nose and you're constantly picking your nose through there, um, then you're also going to clog the pores. So it all depends on that. if you're walking a lot, you're a lot of, you're pretty active in that breathing rate, that's, that clogs up your stuff. So just replace it off and you know what, the reusable ones, we're not, we're not doing the ear ties because they, they pull the ears forward, they're just too uncomfortable and they pooch out on the cheeks on most people. Uh, we're doing the ties, but if you are, if you are, um, uh, a lot of people put these, the doctors put these ties over their N95 masks because it's like having a goalie in front of a goalie. And so if you have a, a goalie in front of a goalie, it makes it, um, it makes it more even, even more effective the, the one underneath. So there you go.